All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I apologize, we lost electricity here. Um, and uh, the good thing, it did not take long before uh, we are back on air. Uh, so please invite your friends and post the link everywhere you can. I did not post anywhere actually, uh, just so the electricity is coming. And let us hope we will not lose it again. Uh, we were talking about how silly the verses in the Quran, and we will continue. The Quran speaks to us and says that if this book is not from Allah, Allah is the name of the God of Islam. And here we notice actually something very silly. If this book is not from Allah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, first of all, when somebody says such a thing, he is assuming that every individual in this earth believe in Allah. And that again showing us how silly the author of the book. Because to say to me, if this book is not from Allah, as if you are saying to me that there is no Hindus, there is no Buddhas. So, like, what if if you say to somebody he's a Hindu, is this if this book is not from Allah? What does that mean? I mean, so who we don't believe in Allah anyway. You know what I mean? What the point of saying if this book is not from Allah? Unless you are assuming that everybody in this earth believe in Allah. If I go and I say to somebody he is a communist, an atheist, a Christian, and by the way, the Muslim, they will say to you, I can show you the word Allah in the Arabic translation Bible. This is a translation. This is a stupid translation. I, I say it loud and clear. This is stupid translation. So how you say, if this book is not from Allah, shouldn't you say if this book is not from God? There's many naive people think that the word Allah means God. That's because you are naive. The word Allah already include the word God. And we explained to you many times before that the word Al, La, Al in Arabic today is equal to that. But in the old languages, the ancient Aramaic, the ancient Hebrew, is as the following just to explain for those who do not know al la that is the name of the god of islam the word al is a word meaning god la is the name so when you say allah you are saying already moon god this is his name or god la and by the way, Al is not something have to do with the Arabic, even in the Hebrew. As an example, Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Ishmael in the ancient Hebrew was not Ishmael, it was Ishmael, etc. Mikael, Gabriel, all of them. So in the moderate Hebrew, the AL, the AL became EL. So it was AL. Is a word mean God, and then it became El, which mean a word mean God. This is why, until now, there is many names even in the Hebrew they used to have. Uh, they, they still have the roots of the old language, like as an example, Prophet Daniel, Daniel, Yal. The word Al either start in the beginning or at the end as an example we say that one of the names of Christ is Emmanuel the origin the origin is Emmanuel ill can appear either in the beginning or it can appear at the end depend in the sentence or the description all right so the God of Islam is Lah. And this is his name 
and he is saying to us if this is not from la you will find a lot of contradiction but this is a contradiction itself the verse itself is silly and stupid uh, by the way uh, guys uh, for those who want to debate me i come with better idea uh, why we don't use pal talk you know because this skype is really stupid i mean i open my skype i find like 5000 people saying to me hello you know it's, it's it's really stupid there's no control of it so uh if you get somebody want to debate me and he is qualified uh, we can use pal talk the same as with we, we did with dr rohi pal talk is better and it's headache free all right and my name in pal talk is as the following Let us type it for you in the screen. As you see it in the screen, there is no space. And uh, a Christ, a capital letter or a small letter doesn't matter. And pal talk does it, that does not matter. All right. Uh, sorry, uh, this is not correct. Hold on, hold on. Christian Prince, not Christ. Christian Prince. Christian Prince <clears throat> and those core prints All right so this is the name in pal talk and don't start adding me in pal talk just to say hi because I will do the same I will not uh, answer I'm just letting you know. You know, I left the sky because it became so much and became silly and stupid. All right. So if we have somebody, he is a qualified to debate me. We can use pal talk, which have a good voice quality, and we can share a text or links with that person, no problem. However, I don't open links from anyone. Send it to me. So if you always you want to show me something. Give me the reference and I will find it by myself. <clears throat> now, going back. If this book is not from Allah, you are assuming that I believe in Allah and that is silly. I mean, how, how I'm going to present this verse to someone he is a Hindu. I say, hey, Hindu, hey, Christian, hey, Jews, hey, Buddhas, hey, atheist. If this book is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. Do you see how silly that verse is? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying, guys? Are we following? How silly? This is very silly. This is very, very silly and very stupid. This is, you can say, if the whole world have one God and all of them believe in a God, his name is Allah, then that makes sense, okay? If this book is from Allah, then that, uh, you know, that's it. You know what I mean? Hey Fadi, how are you, Fadi? Hey Fadi, your God is a territorian. Isn't it your God, Allah? He says in the name of Allah, Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Why Allah cannot say in the name of Allah? And how can Allah say in the name of Allah if He is Allah? All your religion is being in is, is based on a, in a trinity. Allah Zibril Muhammad. Is that a three or two or four? And silly, isn't it? Quran says that Paul is a is a great messenger of Allah, you donkey. Hmm? Nice to meet you.
in that room don't search for a Christian Prince room you search for the Christian Prince ID not room it, it, in order to have a room it have to be open do you see me open a room anyway so Muslims are very you know they, they, they have a very silly argument only if your Islam is based on three even Jesus is a three in one in chapter 4 verse 171 Everything in your cult is based on three. Even your evolution is not approved unless you you do wipe your hand three times, your face three times, your nose three times, your ears three times, and say Allah, 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 Allah. everything three times. Which means Allah Himself will not accept your prayer unless you do things at three times. So who is that uh, Tertullian? Very silly. Uh, guys, Allah is a name. Is not a name, you idiot. Uh, uh, nice to meet you. No, Allah is a name, you idiot. I challenge you to show me one Muslim says that Allah is not a name, you idiot. And a Rahman is a name, you idiot. Do you want to show you the proof from the Quran, you idiot? <laughs> Let us go to the Quran and get you busted. I never met a Muslim, he knew what his religion is about. Never met one, to be honest with you. They are the same as the Quran speak about them. They are the same as a camel carrying books or the same as a, as a donkey carrying books here we go an example chapter 17 verse number 110 read with me abdul read with me does it say that allah he called himself those are names did allah in the quran says those are names so you are saying that allah is an idiot because you said those are not names idiot which mean according to you whoever believed that those are names he is an idiot which mean you agreed that Allah is an idiot are you there Fadi? correct guys isn't it him who says that Allah and Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim those are not names and the one who says they are he is an idiot well, thank you very much. Allah is an idiot. We agree. Not only he is an idiot, he is the idiot of the village. Even you Muslims, how even dare to say hello to me? I mean, you know that I can get you busted in a, in a, in a, in, in a blink of an eye. How dare you? What happened to this guy, Fadi? Is he, is he dead now? He's playing dead? It's in Fa'al Alam? <laughs> a second ago you said it's not a name you idiot now it is a name it's in fa'al alam fa'al alam fa'al alam what fa'al alam <laughs> it's in fa'al alam <laughs> and here by the way the story is very is more funny let us change the translation so we can show you how funny it is muhammad he start using suddenly the word ar-rahman Hmm? Suddenly, in the middle of nowhere, never, never before said a Rahman. Never. The Arab they say to him, "Hey Muhammad, who is a Rahman? Are you worshiping two gods now? The only Rahman we know is Rahman al Yamama, the guy which Muslims they call him Musaylama the liar, just because he is a false prophet like their prophet. They call him the liar to make fun of him. Very trashy people." making fun of a man just because they don't agree with him that he's a prophet. So they call him Musaylama the liar, the fact Muhammad the liar, and he stole the name from Musaylama. And the, and the interpretation clearly saying that the people, they say, the only Rahman and the God of Rahman we know is the guy who is Rahman al Yamama. And I can show you the reference right now. So the word Rahman is stolen from that guy. The word Muslim, this name is Muslim. Muhammad, he stole the word Muslim from there. So he stole a Rahman. 
He stole Muslim. He stole Ar Rahim. And now people they are questioning him why you are changing the names of your God. And by the way, that's mean all the Quran is a false book. Because if this is the this is the verse, first time Muhammad here he said he mentioned the word Rahman. So why all the Quran start with Bismillah Rahman Rahim? That's mean the Muslims they added. Again, it's a very silly book. Again, guys, for those who contact me in in, uh, in Skype, I'm not going to open Skype no more. If you want to send me a message, you can send it to me in Patreon. All right? If you want to send me a message, contact me in Patreon. And if we have a Muslim to debate with us, he can debate us using Paltok. So, can I find something smart about this religion? Nothing. I mean, give me one chapter in this book. It's not funny. Look at this verse. The same chapter, chapter 17. Look how hilarious it is. I mean, this is a comedy stand-alone comedy run by Muhammad anyone notice what the problem with this verse anyone notice what the problem with this uh, verse what is the problem with this verse guys always if I lose uh, connection uh, you know, just to refresh the page and come back and check if I have a live broadcast. Don't just go and gone. You know, I will never give up. All right? We lost electricity. We have a very bad storm here, flood. And uh, I'm grateful I don't live uh, in a, a flooded area, but the flood will affect the internet and the electricity. Anyone notice angels, angel of a mess, a messenger for a messenger? No, no, this is not here. No, Muhammad saying the reason he don't send messengers as angels because the one who live in earth are not angels. <laughs> Do you see it? <laughs> but there is a stupid problem here. Anyone knows what the problem? No, no, no. Forget about sending down. Sending down, but supposedly they are in heaven. No. If the if Allah will send angels only if those who live in earth are angels, then who is Jibreel? Are you getting my point? CP is not helping ordinary Muslims to come to Christ anymore. Uh, uh, Marcel, I don't care what you think. And I think, uh, you see, I am not celebrity because how you say such a thing if nobody knows even who I am? You are just a silly, stupid, silly person. Do you even know who I am? How I can be celebrity? Have you ever heard of a celebrity? Nobody knows who is he. I mean, how silly even the statement. People, they have a little brain. I mean, they chicken, they need a tiny chicken brain. Chicken, you know chicken brain? Chicken brain. How Christian Prince became celebrity if nobody knows who is he? In order for me to be celebrity, I have to show myself, go in TV, show myself in camera, and then people, they know me. Wherever I go, people know who I am. But you are an idiot. Because I don't want to be celebrity. Nobody knows who I am. If you, if I see you in the street, in, in the street, and your your shoulder touch my shoulder, you will not even know that this is me. So how silly! And if I am not helping normal Muslims now, I'm helping who? Like somebody told you now, the scars of Islam are just sitting listening to me twenty four hours because I am celebrity and they are celebrity. The whole point. This is a Muslim statement, by the way. 
is to make you believe that Christian Prince is not a good, doing a good job. He's a bad person. He's just a celebrity. Yeah, you know, take selfie with me. <laughs> you know, one of the problems I have in my life, I suffer, to be honest with you, and I suffer from stupidity. There's one thing I hate. I don't care really about the food I ate. I eat anything. But the stupidity is amazing. So a Muslim, he try to discredit you. Like he will say, Christian Prince is not being a good person. The Christian Prince, look, look let me let me show, let me uh, let me show you what what this uh, this uh, uh, potato he said. <clears throat> you know, because they don't want you to listen to me no more. All right, we took a snapshot so we can show you. Even though we'll change this topic, our topic, but you know, I like to get stupidity busted. It's my hobby, what I can say. I cannot resist. Here we go. We make you famous. CB is not helping ordinary Muslims to come to Christ by taking talking to them anymore. Now CB became celebrity and instead of interested in talking only to a big Muslims. CB is in news, Shabir Ali. <laughs> so I'm talking to who now, you idiot donkey? <laughs> I go, you know, if I am what you are saying, I will go once every every few months if somebody want to debate me. Not every day. Every day, not only every day, every day, many times. In the last 24 hours, how many times I went online? Mr. Celebrity Donkey. Do you see how much celebrity I am? To the point I go many times online to talk to you. Stupidity. Don't get married. Don't please don't get married. Either I don't know if you are a male or a female, because either way, your spouse will get commit suicide. And this is one of the reasons, by the way, I am still single. I mean, I am afraid that one day, if I get married, and then I find that the women I married to is like that. I mean, this is the biggest disaster would be. What I would do then? Yeah, I'm talking to Christians as if Christians are not a human. Why I'm talking to Christians, you donkey? Is the one who is allowed to come here is only Christians? Anyway, we gave you too much space. You don't deserve it. Go and find the husband in your size. Somebody fool. Now, see if they were settled on earth, angels walking about in space and quiet. I mean, this is, by the way, uh, peace and quiet. I mean, the translation sometimes is really, but we would let it go. Then we should certainly have sent them down from heaven, angels as for messengers. But isn't it all the angels Allah He sent down? They are messengers. Isn't it the Muslim they say Allah He sent to Mary? His spirit, and they say that that spirit was Jibreel. Are we listening, guys? Are we listening? Isn't it the Quran says Allah He sent His Spirit and appeared to her as a perfect man? As what? As a perfect man. Okay. Well, is uh, is Mary an angel? Is Muhammad an angel? Because you will not send messengers unless there is angels. You will not send messengers from the angels unless angels live in earth and they are walking with their feet as men. But that is a contradiction because uh, Muhammad he saw Jibreel with 600 wings you remember and Muhammad is not an angel so the messenger Jibreel was not a messenger so what he was the cook <laughs> <laughs> 
So do you see, guys, how easy it is if you think deeply to discover stupidity in every verse in this book? Do you notice? I'm, I'm very serious. Do you notice how easy it is to find how stupid this book is? This book, this book destroy Muhammad, destroy the whole Quran, this verse. Because if Muhammad, he, he is he's just a man, Allah, he just said, he will never send angels in the earth to be messengers unless the one who live in the earth are angels. How silly. How stupid. Anyone? How are you? Explain Islam. Is, explain Islam. Why you want to call me princess? Is it me who piss like a woman, like your prophet? Is it me who put eyeliner three times like your prophet? Is it me who kiss a man down his belly like your prophet? Is it me who suck the tongues of men like your prophet? Is it me who color his hair red? He want to be a redneck like your prophet? Is it me who receive Quran in the book of his wife like your prophet? So why you want to call me princess, not a prince? Hello? I mean, look who is talking. Look who is talking. Not only that, isn't it your prophet he said that my cousin he did rape me? Challenge me. Uh, let me let me do it to you in Islamic version. Ch uh, silence me. Show me. Answer me. Allah pray for not to. Are you happy now? Did the cousin of the prophet did rape the prophet? Hello? Hey, she agrees. See, he said yes. Yes, the prophet, he was raped by his cousin. Thank you. <laughs> if we ask those Muslims in the text, okay. Any of those things? Why your prophet is doing that? I mean, why your prophet he pissed like a woman? Okay, why your prophet he wear his wife clothes? Why Allah never received the Quran unless he is in, in his in his wife clothes? Uh, why Muhammad he put eyeliner three times every day? Uh, why Muhammad uh, uh, he forbid women from taking hair from their face, but he take hair from his face? Uh, why Muhammad he kill, uh, kiss men down their belly? I mean, is that a hobby? Is that something normal? Hello? So I don't know. Uh, at least be serious. And I don't care if you call me prince or princess because it's not you who de de decide my gender. And by the way, what's wrong with being a woman? I mean, if if God made me a woman, I am a, if whatever God he made me, I will be. What the problem? Do you think you're insulting us? Yeah, you, you think so. But obviously, you are insulting your mother. Are you saying that your mother, because she is a woman, she is a bad person? In fact, yes. Muslims believe that women are the most evil creatures Allah he created. And Muhammad, he told the Muslims that all women are whore because of their grandmother, Hawa, which is Eve. Read carefully with me, and this is Sahih al Bukhari. The Prophet said, We're not of Bani Israel, the children of Israel. Meat would not decay. Muhammad, he claimed, The reason you are having refrigerator because of the Jews. If there's no Jews, brother, we have no need for a refrigerator or a freezer, brother. True story. And if not for Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. Do you see it, Abdul? So according to your prophet, your mother is a bad woman. 
for all women are the same and they are a copy paste of Eve. What do you say, Abdul? Any Abdul? Abraham marry his sister. I can show you that Abraham he marry his sister in Islam. You want to challenge me? I mean, the Muslims are a bunch of idiots. They do not even know what is written in their books. You see, I never saw a Muslim. A Muslim is like a guy who think he is adult, but he is carrying his his ass is inside a big diaper. Now, do you want to challenge me to show you that according to Islam, Abraham he married his sister? Hello. Who hello? Donkeys. Donkeys in, donkeys out. This is a new religion. Your prophet, he said that Abraham he lie in three things. Do you know what, what are they? The three things. One of them, he said that my wife is my sister. You donkey. And the one who said is that is your prophet. I want you to say whoever believe in that he is a donkey. Say it. Please say it. Please, not please. Please. Let me type it for you in a, in a, in our Arabic language. Please. Not please. Huh? Brother, I want you to say please. Uh, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on. Please, brother, says whoever believe in that is a donkey. Can you say that, uh, Abdul? Please. Hello. Yamma Mia, Yamma Mia. Donkey mute, donkey silence. Donkeys. I mean, you're a pro. I mean, look at this God Allah. He sent them the, 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 the lowest IQ ever in history to defend his prophet. What are you saying, CP? I'm a medical doctor. So what if you are a medical doctor? The, the situation nobody can solve. It's very complicated. No med, no doctors in the earth can fix it. Too much camera urine. Who need a doctor now? We have a prophet. He's, he's, he is the best doctor in earth. You know, a guy, he came to him. His brother is dying. He said to him, let him drink honey. The guy, he came back to him. He says, my brother is dying, man. <laughs> Obviously, he have a diabetes. <laughs> Uh, Rob, you want to debate me, brother? Who are you, Rob? Rob, are you a Muslim scholar? Are you somebody? Are you something? Or you are just a Rob? <clears throat> if there is any Muslim scholar, he think he knew. Uh, please let me know. <clears throat> I will be happy. I will call you. Make an account in uh, Palto. Give me your account, and I will text you, and we will make a live call. CP Moses was the uncle of Jesus. Yeah, according to Muhammad, yes. Uh, Moses and Aaron. And Mary, they are brothers and sisters from one man. His name is Umran. According to the historian genius, Muhammad bees upon him. And as you know, if Muhammad bees upon him, he says such a thing, it must be true. I mean, who knows better than the prophet? He know all the history. 
any his any anything is hiding Muhammad he knew it including how the baby is made how the baby is made anyone remember okay let me ask you a question which nobody knows save a prophet how long the sperm stay inside the mother inside the women how long the sperm stay alive having fun where is the medical doctor are you there medical doctor according to dr muhammad and you know dr muhammad is very famous he's very uh, very well known i mean when the drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 or 50 days i mean who can come with this unless a genius how he knew how he knew this i mean just be honest think about it in the muslim website they say to us the following let me show you what they say to us <clears throat> miracles of quran miracles of what of quran okay nice to meet you the quran the book of islam contains scientific knowledge brother that could not have been known 14 years ago brother how he knew that i will tell you the secret how he knew that allah i mean come on allah told him allah is the only true god he taught him that the sperm stay inside the women womb for 40 to 50 days depend on the long of the you know i mean how long the vacation is You know, sometimes like your boss give you only 40 days. Sometimes he give you 50. Anyone? We don't use a Skype anymore, guys. Don't give a Skype. Don't give a Skype. We don't give a Skype. And we will debate only those who have knowledge in Islam. Don't give a Skype. I don't open it no more. That Skype is gone. Don't text me in Skype. Don't add that Skype. I will not even open it. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, if you are a Muslim scholar, you want to talk to me, we can talk in Pal Talk. It's better than Skype. Anyone? How your prophet he says such a thing? Hmm? Any Muslim? You know, by the way, I remember uh, before I became a baby, I was a sperm, me myself. And I remember I took some selfies, but I cannot remember where I lost the phone. I think the nurse who did delivery, I think she stole the phone or something. When she grabbed me out, it's a hadith. So what if it's a hadith? Huh. Guys, look at this guy. It's a hadith. So what? All your religion is coming from the hadith. Islam is nothing without the hadith. Isn't this a sahih? It is sahih. Brother, this is sahih Muslim. So what the problem? I'm very scared. Don't you see I'm still not married? This is why I'm, I'm because I'm scared. I'm scared because the Quran said that women they have a breast testicles. Aren't you scared too? Aren't you scared to get married and you go to the bedroom and your wife supposedly she is a female, she take off her clothes and she take off her bra and then instead of seeing a nice breast, you see what? Big huge balls. Is that Quran or I'm lying? Brother, 
Is that Quran or I'm lying? Hmm? Say I'm lying, say I'm lying. Please say I'm lying. Say it, say it. It's okay, it's halal. I mean, you have to say to Christian Prince, anything he say, you have to say it a line. It's halal. This is the only thing halal is Islam. Never answer a question. Never go serious. Never, uh, never be honest. But say, say lying. Hmm? Chapter eighty-six, verse number six and seven. Quran. And this is the book of Ibn Kathir, which Muslims you like. And by the way, I confirm Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar. And all his interpretation is made just to defend Islam, to lie. But let us see. Even with the lies Ibn Kathir he made, it's enough to prove Islam to be false. Ibn Kathir explained to you the Quran, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. He says that a human being is created from, actually this is the Quran, not him, gushing forth. So it's a gushing forth water. What is that gushing forth water? Meaning the sexual fluid that come out of breast, uh, breasting forth from the man and the women. So it's a gushing, gushing fluid of sexual fluid from the man and the women. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Nice to meet you, ribs. Hey, backbone. According to Allah, the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. Allah never heard of something ball, called balls. Backbone, backbone. What do you want to? What do you want to do? What do you want to do when Muhammad come to you? Meaning the backbones of the man and the ribs of the women. <laughs> Referring to her chest. Are you there, Abdul? So your doctor Muhammad is explaining to us how the baby is made from a gushing fluid forth, gushing fluid, which is a sexual fluid, which is coming from the backbone of the man. And the uh, uh, the ribs of the women. Yeah, actually, this is what where the song is coming from. The song, you know, like a uh, backbone, backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I do eat you? Backbone, backbone. Because if you eat backbone, obviously you have a lot of power for the sperm, brother. Yeah, this is the Eve Quran. Huh? So what we will do now, is it true really that the man have a backbone which generate the sperm? Who? What is the name of the scientist he said that? Let me give you his name. There's a Japanese, <coughs> Dr. Zaki Naik, he will explain that to you. <coughs> Brother and sister, there's a person in the internet, it may be the contemporary, and he all would accuse the prophet. And he said that the sperm is not coming from the backbone. And I can prove it to you. I turned the Christian Prince to break his backbone and to be able to have babies. He will not be able because simply all the sperm is going to come from the backbone. But because the Christian Prince is a coward and he will not try that thing to prove to us that this is true or not. Uh, what? Uh huh. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I mean, if you don't believe that the backbone, prove to us that the backbone is not the source of a sperm. Bre break your backbone and let us see if we can have babies after that. <laughs> and the funny, his name is Dr. Zakir Naik, which is make it more hilarious. Brother Sitter, the best doctor in the world, his name is the Prophet Muhammad, and he knows everything. As an example, the Prophet Muhammad, 1400 years ago, he said that if you go to the bathroom, you have to take your penis three times. And according to scientists, and I know him very well, he's from the band. He said, if a man don't take his penis three times, he is going to be in danger. And they made a study that men who take it four times, they will break it. And right now, there's a lot of people, they have a broken penis because they take it four times, not three times, as the Prophet said. You have to shake it three times? So if we shake it four times, we will break it? 
This is your scholar. And always, guys, the name for you, the name for you, names of doctors, etc. Those doctors either they had not exist or they never they never say anything. As an example, they said George Bernard Shaw, brother. He said uh, the George Bernard Shaw. He said if the Prophet Muhammad was existed, today, brother, he can solve all the problems of the world. The one driving his coffee in the morning. Okay, what book of George Bernard Shaw says that? Brother, can you show me the book of George Bernard Shaw when he said that? Which book? <laughs> Unbelievable. They lie, they fabricate. When it, after after Christian Prince he died, they will say Christian Prince, brother, before he died, brother, he said Shahada, he put his finger up, not the middle, no, not this one. The other one. He put his finger up. No, brother, not this one too. This is this is for the big booger. No. That, no. Yeah, brother, this is yeah, this is what yeah, this is for Bugar to the same time. Okay, we can use it for Bugar or we can say it for Shahada, brother. Brother, there is witnesses, brother. When Christian Prince was in the in the in the in the in the death bed, he put his finger up, brother, and he said that Shahada, brother. And I, I am a witness, yeah. they witness for nothing. Hmm? Any Abdul? So this is the Quran, silly book. It is silly. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Okay, let us make a challenge for Muslims in the chat. Who is a Muslim when to choose for us a verse in the Quran and he challenged us to answer it? What do you think, guys? A verse of your choice. Any Muslim? Give me the, the most strong verse, brother. Who can do so? Hello? Hmm. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. A Muslim Abdul. <clears throat> a, a robe, what is a Matthew 13 uh, 32 for you brother what is what uh, what the problem brother do you have something to say uh, mr robe just to show you how Muslims are copy paste brother if there is something you want to say to us brother What if I show you the same verse in the Quran, Mr. Robe, and that will prove to you that you are a certified donkey? Brother, if I show you the same as it says in Matthew 13 in the Quran, Robe, are you going to admit that your prophet is a donkey then? Guys, he is claiming that Matthew 13, 32 is a mistake. What if I show you that in the Quran, you idiot. Hello? Hello? Are you there? <laughs> Unbelievable how stupid they are. Brother. Da 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 it appears in two chapters in the Quran that Allah says that even this is the smallest in the creation of Allah to the point even if justice in the weight of that he will do it do you see it Abdul hello hello is your God Allah 
Copy in Z, says brother. Are you the robe? Setters, you, you see, you see why they come here and they become certified donkeys. Hello, bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when CBE come for you? <laughs> Chapter thirty-one, verse number sixteen. Not only from what, not only once, twice in the Quran. Read with me. Donkeys, certified donkeys. Who's next? Who's next? Hello. Hmm. Big mouth, smaller brain. By the way, by the way, I always say donkeys. I want to apologize to donkeys. Donkeys are smart. I don't know if I tell you this story. Uh, once we went to villages in the mountains, we are a bunch of kids, like teenage, you know. And then the villager, he said to us, you will lose your way when you come back because all the mountains look the same. So take the donkey with you. And we laugh at him. We said, what? Take the donkey with us for what? He said, when you want to come back, just let the donkey and follow him. <laughs> you cannot, you cannot follow a Muslim. You cannot follow a Muslim. He will take you to, you know, Muslims in Indonesia, they were praying in the direction of Mecca, which is in Libya for more than 400 years they just discovered that lately that they are praying not to mecca they were praying to libya but thank you to american gbs brother if not the american gbs brother they will be praying until now to africa instead of praying to mecca brother so we let the donkey and the donkey that lead us in sh shortcut to go home. I'm telling you, donkeys are smart. But look what Muhammad said about the Muslims regarding donkeys. Muhammad, he said, Muhammad S A W S, what is that? Is that like a music band or something? Is that copyright like a corporation? I don't know what is that. Maybe this is an Arabic like corporation, brother. Say it. Does anyone knows? Does anyone? Does the one who raises his head before the Imam not fear that Allah may turn his head into a head of a donkey? I mean, here you feel like Buddha is talking, the wise Buddha. Buddha, how are you, Buddha? Buddha, learn. Learn. There are some, some, uh, well, you know, what is the guru of India? He, the guru of India, the guru of philosophy. Learn the wisdom, brother. Bring your guru. What is the love guru we saw in the movie? Huh? The love guru? Come, love guru. Learn from Prophet Muhammad the wisdom, brother. If you raise your head before the Imam, brother, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. Yeah, I promise I will uh, I will explain. Okay, good you remind me. <clears throat> Remember guys, we said we will explain how the five prior they came to existence according to Muhammad. <clears throat> Oh, to make the story short, this is a this is a short story. When Muhammad he went to the seven heaven eleven in the top of a donkey have no wings. Anyone knows why the donkey have no wings? Anyone knows why the donkey which carried Muhammad has no wings?
Anyone knows? Because the donkey, uh, so, sorry, the donkey, the heaven of Allah is connected to earth. There is, there, there is seven ways to go to heaven. But Allah opened them only for his prophets. Uh, the message of Allah said, Allah the mighty, the supreme, enjoyed 50 prayers upon my ummah, which means my nation. And I came back with that until I passed by Moses. And he said to me, what has your Lord enjoyed upon you, your ummah? I said, he has enjoyed 50 prayer on my ummah. Musa said, go back to your Lord. Okay, let me make it. I, I'm not doing it correctly. Sorry, I apologize. I'm not in the mood today. We are talking about an Arab and a Jew. The conversation will be totally different. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven and Allah, he gave him an order to pray 50 times. But how he gave him the order, nobody knows, by the way, because Muhammad did not talk to Allah. So in his way back, Musa was sitting in the way, waiting for him. So Musa says to Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi Muhammad, where you been Muhammad? Muhammad said, I was uh, visiting Allah. And uh, why are you asking Musa? Musa, he said to him, and uh, Khabibi uh, Muhammad, what your Allah, uh, what are your God Allah, he enjoyed you to your nation, which means what orders he gave them? I said, uh, he gave me order uh, to pray 50 times. Musa said to him, Habibi Muhammad, Habibi Muhammad, go back to where go to Habibi. Habibi, you cannot pray 50 prayer. Go back to Agha and do a bazaar with him. Do bazaar. You cannot ask, you know, you cannot pray 50 times prayer, Habibi. Use your brain. You are an Arab always. You do that, Arab. Muhammad, he listened to this. Oh, this is a Jew. He's a smart. He must be right. So he said to Musa, okay, uh, 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 Musa, I'm going to go back to Allah and I'm going to ask him to give me a discount. So uh, Muhammad, he went back. And he, Allah, he reduced the prayer. And then he came back to Musa. And Musa asked him the same question. Khabibi Muhammad, what happened with you, Khabibi? Muhammad, he said to him, Allah, he make it 40 prayer. Musa said, Khabibi Muhammad, Khabibi, 40 prayer? You cannot pray 50 prayer, brother Habibi. Habibi, you have to go back to Allah asking for discount, Habibi. 40 prayer? Are you crazy, Muhammad? How you can pray 50 prayer? You have to eat, you have to shit, you have to have sex, Habibi. You have to do bang bang to Aisha, Habibi. How you can go for 40 prayer and 50 prayer? Go back to Allah and ask him for, uh, you know, discount, Habibi. So Muhammad, he went back to Allah as, as Musa asked him. And then he said, go back, Habibi. So this process keep going. Muhammad, he go. Musa, he stop him. He ask him the same question. Habibi, how many prayer? So the 50 became 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 50. Unbelievable. Until at the end, he came back to Musa and Musa approved. He came back to Musa and he told him, he gave me five prayer. Musa, he said, this is okay. This is logical. Habibi Muhammad, now you can pray for Allah for a prayer. So even the prayer of the Muslims was by a Jew. It was fixed by a Jew. Allah was a fool, Muhammad was a fool, Musa was a smart. Who want to answer that? Who want to answer that? Why Allah giving Muhammad 50, 50 prayer if, if, if that will not work? And who is Musa to correct Allah? And why Muhammad do not know that this is not right? Why he need the Musa to tell him? <clears throat> Miraj? What Miraj? You mean Miraj? 
وادي النواد يمين اني عبدول So this is the story behind. And by the way, I gave you the short story because the hadith is very long. I mean, this is like seven, eight pages of story. But I choose for you this hadith, which is summarizing to make the, to cut the crap, as they say. So from 50 prayer, have you ever heard of a God who's doing bazaar with his God about how many prayer? He go back, forward, backward, forward. I mean, how boring. Hey, Muhammad, what do you want? Allah, come on, Musa. Allah told me, Allah. Allah, Musa told me that 40 prayer, 50 prayer is too much. Allah, he said, ah, the Jews, Musa, he told you that. Ah, Musa is smart. Okay, I will make it for you 45. Muhammad, he go back. <laughs> he see Musa. And Musa says, Khabibi, Muhammad, are you stupid, Khabibi? Khabibi, Khabibi, if you ask Bibi Netanyahu, Khabibi, he will tell you this is impossible, Khabibi. Habibi, even Arik Sharon do not know this is impossible, Habibi. What's wrong with you, Habibi? So from 50 to 5, do you Muslims even use your brain? From 50 prior to 5 prior, and the reason to reduce the prior, it was Moses. Hmm? <clears throat> Isra al Miraj. No, my friend, you see the story of Isra al Mi'raj is a very stupid story because even the Quran never said that Allah, he took Muhammad to the seven heavens. If you go to the chapter of Isra, it says that Allah, he took him to the, uh, the farther uh, house of Allah, which is supposedly the Muslim, they say this is the mosque of Al-Aqsa. Nowhere it says he took him to ever read it. I mean, just to show you how silly Islam is, if Muhammad he claimed that Allah he took him to heaven, shouldn't he mention that in the Quran? Do you know what I mean, guys? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Which is more important to go to Jerusalem or to go to the heaven? Okay, show me where in the Quran it says Allah he took him to heaven. Here we go. This is the chapter of Isra, and this is the only verse speaking about that. Nowhere. Crazy, stupid. No, not in the Quran. Nowhere in the Quran. This is the only thing the Quran says. Allah, He took him in a journey of night, which nobody see, nobody witnesses. Always things happen at night, you know. By the way, yesterday, just to tell you, but don't tell anybody, because always we Arab, we do things at night because we do not want witnesses. For we are very humble. Yesterday at night, brother, I killed forty lions and seventy wolf, and I ate them for a snack and barbecue in the back of my yard. And don't tell me why I did not take pictures because it was so dark. Hello. And there is no witnesses as usual. Hmm. Even his wife, she was not there. Anyone? No, you see, did you notice I said 40 million, 40 lions? I did not say 40 because the prophet, he says 40 uh, days, uh, the sperm, you know. you know. Muhammad always is stuck with numbers like 40, 70, you know, Alibaba and the 40 thief. Hmm. Yeah, in Islam, if you have adultery, you need to have four witnesses but such an amazing miracle no witnesses hmm. <clears throat> hello 
Ben jij op doel? <coughs> Who's a Muslim would like to show us something uh, intelligent in the Quran? I give up. Honestly, I give up. I cannot find something smart in this Quran. <clears throat> any Abdul and again I remind you all Islamic translation for the Quran is fake and it is a stupid and it's far away from reality guys why the Jews are bad according to Islam anyone knows why Anyone knows why the Jews are bad according to Islam? Is that because they are bad or because Allah make them bad? Let us guess. Hmm? Take this verse and save it in your reference. In chapter 17, verse number 4, Allah said, We decreed, which means we made it a fate. That's it. It's a destiny. That you Jewish people, you will be bad twice. So what is the what is the fault of the Jews if Allah decide that they will be bad and they will mischief me twice? Do you know what decreed mean? What decreed mean? This is the Muslim translation. So it's the fault of who? It's the fault of Allah. The Jews are not bad. It's Allah the bad. Do you see it, Muslims? <clears throat> right? Uh, you know, Rob, you are just a kid. You know, we answer you. You are a copy paste. And everything you say here, we can get you busted from your Quran. But, you know, you are just trying to take us away from our topic. Do you see it, guys? The Muslims, because they are copy paste, they, nobody want to use his brain. Okay, let us say the Jews are bad to you according to what you say, you believe, right? But Allah who made them bad, if they are. So who is the bad person? Allah. And by the way, why the Jews are bad? What's wrong with them? Be honest, all of you Muslims, you love to live in Israel, not to live in the, in the, in the Palestinian Islamic territory. What you Muslims you do to your country, if you have a, if you have one. Like what do you do usually? What do you do? Saudi Arabia, after having incredible amount of money from oil for more than eighty years, until now they don't have a sewage. Until now, more than 80 to 90 percent of the population do not know how to write, how to read. Saudi Arabia became the most popular country of AIDS. This is what the money did to you. While other nations, they are building and reaching the moon, you Muslims are marrying more women and bringing more maids from Indonesia to rape them in Saudi Arabia. 1,200 servant maid from Indonesia, they got disappear in Saudi Arabia in one year, and they got killed. 1,200. And they say to you, Islam is the best religion and it's a way of life. Do you see how good the way of life is? You do not know that? Search. Prophet Google is there. Even the government of Indonesia forbid Indonesian women to work again in, in, the, in Saudi Arabia because of that. And look what they do. Those poor Indonesian, regardless of who they are, they are Muslims, they are Christians, they are Buddhists. I mean, people are human, they want to live, they are poor people, you know. Nothing wrong with work. 
you know people they want to support their family so they you know you work as a maid only because you you know you cannot find different job because that's many are very poor so uh they bring him over to saudi arabia right away when you go there they take the passport from you and they hide it that's it you became their prisoner and you are a female you cannot even go in the street alone you cannot even call anyone you cannot talk anyone you cannot meet anyone nobody can visit you and then they start raping you one by one all the male in the household the father even the grandfather even the neighbors any friends of the owner of the, the house you bring them I have a slave I have a slave I have a servant because in Islam it is halal and then this woman she get a breath that she have a baby now she will have a baby soon so what do we do we want to get rid of her so what they do they take her and they kill her and they throw her in the middle of the nowhere in the desert Saudi Arabia is one more than a million kilometer which means if they dump you in the desert you will be lucky to be found as bones after 20 years if they found you and they make a report that our maid she ran away she stole our jewelries and she ran away she stole our jewelries and she ran away and who is going to believe who the master or the poor Indonesian women they will believe the Saudi because they knew the game have you ever heard of 1200 murder the police could not find one case and who is the you know, who is the one who did the crime it's impossible so when you see you see what happened to Jamal Khashoggi right this is a guy is not a maid do you remember Jamal Khashoggi is he a maid he is not he's famous he have uh, he work in Washington Post he is an ex-terrorist he is an assistant of the prince he was in the Saudi intelligent he work in the Saudi embassy I mean this guy is all over the place even this guy he went to the embassy they cut him pieces they made him shish kebab until now they cannot find his body this is why I say anyone who go and work in Saudi Arabia you are you are seeking your death because they can accuse you of anything anytime they want <clears throat> we Christian we should not hate yeah we don't hate mr. elderly do you hate elderly Morris do you hate yourself we are saying the truth do we hate so if we say in Saudi Arabia this is what happening that's mean we hate is that your logic we hate violence we hate lies we hate the crimes the Indonesian we are crying for they are Muslims too those maids most of them they are Muslims maybe 95% of those women who get killed are Muslims because Indonesia is a majority Muslim country so we are talking about victims who themselves they are Muslims or the majority of them The Saudi are not Islam. Why? Isn't it your prophet he chop a woman when she is alive two pieces? Hmm? Guys, Saudi are not Islam. Do who is Islam? Your prophet is Islam? Let me ask you. If a person he killed a slave in Islam for insulting the Prophet what is the punishment for that if I have a slave she is a female and she was insulting the Prophet what is the punishment for uh, my slave for insulting the Prophet according to Allah religion
Do you have an answer? Let me show you this story, guys, and show you that Islam and Saudi Arabia is exactly the same. To get those liars busted. This is a poor maid, servant, slave. You don't like Muhammad. Her owner is a Muslim blind man. A blind man who had a slave mother, she is mother, she had babies, who used to abuse the prophet, how she abused, she is a slave. She say, I don't, he's a liar. That's it. So this is slave, she used to abuse the prophet. When you hear the word abuse, you think that Muhammad was a child. She spank him. She take his food. She ate his sandwich. She stole his panty. She broke his toy. She is a poor slave. He rebuked her, but she did not give up. One night, she began to slander the prophet and abuse him. So you see the abuse? So he took his dagger and placed it in her belly and pressed it and killed her. And the child who came between her legs was smeared with the blood that was there look 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 at this image i don't know if you can make a movie about this her child is between her legs and the mother she is dying and the blood is showering the baby do you see muhammad here is a victim brother muhammad is a victim not this woman muhammad is the victim the second day the news came to the prophet and the prophet is all about justice are you kidding me no way when the morning came the prophet was informed about that about about killing of this woman so he assembled the people and said i'm going to judge by allah about this man who killed that whatever so the man he stood up and he told him i am her master she used to abuse you and disprayed you. I forbid her, but she did not stop. I rebuked her, rebuked her, but she did not abandon her habit. I have two sons, like pearls from her. She was my companion. Last night she began to abuse you. So I took my dagger and I put it in her belly and pressed it until I killed her. The prophet said, or be witness no punishment for this blood do you see it do you see it muslims so what's the difference between this story and those maids who disappear in indonesia huh is that justice? And by the way, here, anyone notice how many stupid things happen? Not only how many ugly, disgusting things. Muhammad, he did not need witnesses. You see, in Islam, you need four witnesses to prove adultery. But the man, he killed the woman. Just because he said she insulted you, I killed her. Muhammad, he says, it's okay, kill her. What if the man is lying? You know what I mean? Because now any man, he can kill his wife. They take him to the police. He says she insulted the prophet. Okay, let him go. That's it. Because now this is, this is Sunnah. This is Allah. Any Muslim man, he can kill his wife now. No witnesses, no proof of the story whatsoever. He did not say, "Do you have witnesses that say she said that in the front of everybody, etc." No, there's no witnesses. So any man can kill his wife, put a dagger in his belly, and shower his child between her legs by the blood of the mother. Look how evil he is and how evil this cult is, and they are proud about it. And Muhammad now is doing justice.
and the funny by the way they say to us in Islam we are forbidden from killing women right maybe those who they are reposting my videos the good ones the good ones of you who care maybe you can copy this part and cut it and name the video in Islam we don't we forbid killing women that's what they lie to us they say he cannot kill women he killed her and there's her blood is free as if she is a chicken Muhammad is God you cannot speak against Muhammad that will cause you your life your blood is for free anyway guys I think we have enough for today and I apologize for lately I like the before I lost my internet because we lost electricity here we have a flood the weather is getting better a little bit now uh, remember I'm not going to open Skype no more so don't try to text me there because the Skype became so crazy uh, if we have somebody to, de to debate me uh, we can have him uh, he can call me using a pal talk I use pal talk for many many years and it's really good the program and the sound and the voice is very good there very simple so in the future if we have somebody he want to debate me and he is a sheikh with long beard or a short beard like Zachary Naik. you know Zachary Naik, he's trying to grow his beard by the way but it's not growing I mean he used all kind of fertilizer he met all doctors and he could not make it so what we would do now I mean we cannot judge him by his beard as you know in Islam size does matter this is true but not always my friend I mean, we cannot judge the guy just because of his beard. And maybe, uh, maybe in the future, the 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 beard of uh, Zach and Nick will grow. You never know. Like always, you know, things can get better. You know, maybe he will, they will find a medicine for that or something. I feel sorry for him. The guy is desperately trying to grow a beard and never grow. Uh, anybody told him to use a miracle grow? No. Again, guys, don't forget if you want to read more of my books, we have our book in uh, in Spanish is already published in Amazon. Uh, Depend in your country. Uh, so, if you like to read, we have the book in Spanish. We have it in German. We have it in French. Uh, we have it in Swedish, in Dutch. And now we are working in the Portuguese uh, uh, translation and I hope the Russian too and some of you working in the Indonesian uh, version of it so I hope that you know soon my books will cover many um, like the most important languages in this earth so we can help people to understand uh, how how silly how stupid this cult is this cult is based on deception nothing more nothing less so our enemy is not the Muslims our enemy is the deception for they are deceived and they are trying to get us deceived like them so for you you have a duty and the duty is to protect yourself and your family and your children from being deceived your son your daughter go to the school they come back and they meet with children from their age and between them there's Muslims and Muslims are very well trained to attack Christianity but your children they never heard of what Islam is about they know nothing so there's one person he is trained since he's a kid a Muslim the first thing they taught him in Islam to insult the Christians and the Jews the Christians are evil the Quran is the only book the Bible is corrupt etc your your child you do not know even what Islam is about so he do not know how to answer what to say and how to say and that will make your child a risk so before you send your children out to the world you have to arm them with knowledge and our videos for free you want reference we have our books I have thousands of videos let us say you are a person who cannot get my books I have thousands and thousands and thousands me myself I have no idea how many they are even though I am myself, I am the one who de even delete them, but still people, they copy and they are all over. So we have the best 
library for you to educate you about the cult of Islam and the purpose to save the Muslims and to save your children so they will not be deceived and you will not be deceived the Bible says my nation been destroyed because of their ignorance ignorance is a problem it's the biggest illness a human being he suffer from so my friend save yourself from ignorance learn take notes educate yourself so you will not be infected and you can save others with this i say thank you for being here may the lord bless you christ is lord islam is false and see you soon again bye bye